Hi everyone! Today I'm hanging out here with Tilly uh, while Rob works his magic on our new van. Well, it's new to us. Anyway, we'll share more about that in a later video. In this video, we decided to go back to um, boating and we wanted to share with you a beautiful mooring that we stayed on for a couple of weeks back in October. We'll show you some of the cool things that we found there and some of the interesting things that we witnessed the new places that we found. We even meet some higher boaters and their lovely little fur baby. We assist them through their first lock. We'll also share some really interesting history that we found uh, that a lot of you who have been there probably haven't noticed. It took us a while to notice it and we walked past it several times and we tried to take some photos of it, but we didn't have a lot of success. In the end, we got the information and we'll show you how in the video. So watch for a mix of a few surprises and, and a few laughs. As you know, we don't take ourselves too seriously. We're a really small channel and we love our subscribers. Our audience consists of people all over the world, family, friends. If you watch this video and you comment and you share, that would really help our algorithm so that we could reach more people and let more folks in on the fun. Enjoy. Is Liberty moving on to the next lock. Carol swanning around on the back and swans swanning around behind her. The views here are spectacular. This is the aqueduct that we're standing on. There's Eva up ahead of us. We'll share a lock with her and there's the view over the river. So from our mooring by lock 30, lovely open views, there's a stream here, but then a couple of kind of obstacles in light of Tilly really. This footbridge here, which is not so dangerous, because the bar along the bottom is just about the right height to stop Tilly falling through. And if she did fall through, it's not so fast here in the current that she would go over the waterfall. A low cloud today, it's raining. Sheep in the field. They often come through this fence because it's got such big openings. So we walk from here to the lock and that's the farmhouse. The farmer often has eggs for sale by the bridge. At the moment it costs two pounds for half a dozen. Good eggs. Big eggs. Had some for my breakfast yesterday. There's just an honesty jar and there's a sign there some people haven't been honest and have been taking the eggs without leaving a payment. So they've stolen the money and they've stolen the eggs and some people can be like that I suppose it's just the way some people are. It's sad and as you approach the lock you have to bring your dog across here. This is a bit more dangerous and the consequences are a lot worse. If your dog does slip and wriggle through, so if you have a small dog, you'd have to watch this. It's pretty dangerous. And that's quite a drop into the canal below. Just outside the lock, there's a main road. 
and the towpath. And if you head north, the towpath takes you under the bridge and immediately on the right, that's where you'll find the eggs and the honesty jar. So this is Liberty Moored on the offside, and there's the towpath on this side, there's the derelict farmhouse. They're actually sheltering today. There you can see the footbridge that we just talked about and as you go up there's the farm and just on the front edge of the towpath is the lock. During our stay, we walked past this old farm building numerous times, but did not notice the inscription above the door. We tried to photograph it, but couldn't read the writing when we zoomed in, so Rob got his camcorder, which has a fantastic zoom. Sir Matthew Wilson was born in 1802 and died in 1891. He was an English landowner and liberal politician who sat in the House of Commons at various times between 1842 and 1886. Eshton Hall was constructed between 1825 and 1827. It gained fame for housing an extensive library. Eshton Hall was converted into apartments between 2003 and 2005. We did a little searching about the Craven Hunt hounds, and apparently they were harrier hounds, similar to the hounds pictured here. It's fascinating the history you can uncover in the most unexpected of locations. It is Neil coming through on the hire boat and it is Carol and Neil's wife Carol and she's going to be operating this lock and it's their first lock. And Neil's got little dog dude on the boat. <laughs> so we are in frying Yorkshireman. And that is that is the regular fish and chips and look at the size of that piece of fish. And this is this the is whale. the large. <laughs> I mean that, look, compared to a slice of bread, this is absolutely enormous. This is a, this is a, a fly past. I mean, look how crispy that is. Mm. Proper chips. It is crispy. And square cut bread and butter. 
Very good. side of the field just come through now waiting to be released into their new pasture that's very cool probably really irritated some of the drivers on their way to work making them 30 seconds later not easy moving a flock of sheep along an A road at rush hour. There we are. We got some nice new pastures. They'll enjoy themselves. Yes, everyone's a critic. Here's their new home. These are our neighbors this morning. I think they're very curious. Rob's out walking Tilly. And uh, I think these guys will probably scoot off when he gets back.
we are in a cafe in Gargrave that in all honesty is probably the nicest cafe it's, I've ever been in. It's beautiful, they've taken so much care with the decor. It's so, it's all the vintage stuff. I just love it. I mean, I'll take you into the other room as well. But all these, these are, are genuine old tins. Lots of people from our generation will recognize, especially the Brits. And the stove, which is original. And look at the, there's four irons sitting there. There might be, no, there's six, there's two more underneath. <laughs> So cute. Old Abacus, this Prima Cycling Club. And tea picture cards, I would imagine. Could be cigarette from cigarettes. So much detail. Even the floor is original, original flagstones. This is the hallway. Absolutely amazing. You cannot come to anywhere near Gargrave and not come to this cafe. It's just so much cool stuff in here. And it's dog friendly. And Eddie Ralph Signs did this artwork and he's done a fantastic he or she, I imagine he with the middle name Ralph, has done a fantastic job. Rare butterflies, chap is chasing. All the way up to clouds, the top. It's got a Gertrude's potting shed shop. And more old old toys and boxes along the top. This is this is not in open yet today. Here's the potting shed. Just, just perfect. They've even got an old fashioned bell here. And then you come into this old fashioned candy and look at the register. Look at that. It's perfect. Ice cream, stop me and buy one. And here is Britain, roadmap for Britain. Um, has it got the M4 on here yet? Or is it's the A4? No motorways. Oh, these might have been, this might have been the first motorway. Maybe the M1. And this would have been this. I don't know. I don't know if it is or not.
go back to my old hometown, which is here, Swindon. It's hard not to get nostalgic for the days before motorways. Look at that, even outside. Look at that wonderful garden. Absolutely fantastic. What is it? What is it? I just thought so many, so many little details. This room is equipped with an electric light. Do not attempt to light with a match. Simply press switch on wall by the door. And it goes on automatically when you come in. old wooden boxed system, high level flush, it wouldn't surprise me if they didn't, please close the door properly, please, please, please close the door properly. Some of the items are for sale. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please like, comment, and share. 
And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and click the bell to be notified when we put up new content. See you soon!